What is going on guys, DBG here in this video we have got a squad of the highest paid players in the NBA Well as of right now, as far as I know these are the 13 highest paid players um, And I did a little bit of research, but at the same time I may have missed out on one or two So the point guard we are going to be running with Steph Curry Steph Curry was the highest paid player in the NBA last year And that was after coming off a of four year 48 million dollar contract as far as I know with the Warriors where he's making like 12 million a year which is crazy while he's winning his MVPs. His card really nice is 99 all shooting and a really nice card in game. And the two we've got Russell Westbrook. Westbrook is the best card in the game. He looks genuinely scared in this picture. I don't know why they chose this but um, Westbrook is an absolute beast in game. He signed a big contract extension with the Oklahoma City Thunder on Kevin Durant's birthday. Um, so Westbrook is one of the highest paid players in the league. And the three, we've got LeBron James, who actually signed a contract with the Lakers slightly, for slightly less than um, what Chris Paul signed with the Warriors. But he still did sign nearly a $40 million a year contract. Well, an average of $40 million a year, which was absolutely crazy with the Lakers. I'm surprised he didn't just keep doing one plus ones like he had been in Cleveland. And who knows, maybe that means it's kind of the end for LeBron James. And it's unlikely he ever even leaves the Lakers. But at the three, sorry, at the four, we've got Paul Millsap signed a big contract with the Nuggets. Unfortunately, he was injured for most of this year and... I don't have his amethyst, and there's no better cards than Millsap. Like, he didn't release a ruby, he didn't release a diamond, which is really annoying. At the five, we have got Blake Griffin. So, Blake Griffin signed a big contract with the Clippers, and then they went and traded him to the Detroit Pistons, where him and Andre Drummond just haven't mixed. The Clippers, after making that trade, nearly made the playoffs. The Pistons, I think, went from being either the eight or a ninth spot in the East to not making the playoffs. So, I don't think it really benefited the Pistons at all getting Blake Griffin. Of the bench, you've got Chris Paul and James Harden. James Harden signed a big contract extension last summer. Chris Paul signed one, well signed a new contract this summer. Chris Paul signed a massive contract. They'll pay him basically 40 million a year on average over the next four years. At the three, we've got Gordon Hayward who signed a big contract to Boston Celtics. And at the four, I'm going to put Melo in, even though you might say, okay, he's only making two million next season. He's also just been bought out of his contract. So he gets all the money from Oklahoma City, which was, I think, 20, nearly 27 million, which is still one of the, maybe it was 28 million, which is still one of the highest contracts in the NBA. He gets that plus whatever he's gonna get paid from the Houston Rockets or whoever he signs for, which is more than likely the Rockets. And at the five, we've got Al Horford. I wonder what they're gonna do when Kyrie Irving, uh, when his extension happens, if they end up keeping him. Obviously, it's looking like he's going to the Knicks, but like, imagine having three max contract players, or when Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum need to be paid. In the last year of the bench, we've got Kyle Larry signed a huge contract last summer. DeMar DeRozan, who signed a big one in 2016. And Mike Conley, who at one stage was the most paid player in the... Well, the highest paid player in the NBA without making a single all-star team. Really solid player, but like his contract really started off. And like the funny thing is, is that the 2016 free agency, that offseason, killed... Like lost so many people so much money this year. It's like everyone was getting inflated contracts because basically they bumped up the salary cap entirely in one year. So suddenly like... Players like Kent Bazemore were getting 20 million a year. That was the summer of the uh, Luol Deng, Joakim Noah, Timofey Mozgov, Kent Bazemore, um, Evan Turner signed nearly a 20 million dollar a year contract. That was the summer of bad contracts. And Paul Millsap, no, Paul Millsap was last summer. But um, yeah, so anyway, this is the squad we are using. Should be okay. Griffin and Millsap might struggle a little bit. We might end up running with LeBron at the four and say DeRozan at the three for a lot of game. But anyway, now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against almost full pink diamond team. He's got one of the diamond LeBrons, uh, the non-limitless one, which is actually good for us. But um, he does seem to have a shoe on it, which is not great. Curry in the corner for three. There we go. All right, one point game. So our defense been okay. We just haven't really been able to get too many shots in offense. Got him, floater. Good job, Steph. All right, back to one. Fade away. Good shot, Westbrook. There you go. All right, now just a couple of stops. Like, we literally cannot get a stop. Well, not literally, because I think we got one, but, like, we pretty much can't get a stop. Griffin, what are you doing? That's a terrible cut. Mortal run. Burn him. The Blake. Fake. Got him. We got him. We got him. We go, Blake Griffin. All right. We're getting scores. We're just... Not getting stops. Okay, I think our bench is better than his bench by the looks of it. So hopefully, actually no, our bench is not that much better. Maybe slightly, but not significantly. Good shot. Good shot, Westbrook. I can live with it. That's a good shot. Got him. Fade away. And Harden knocks it down. Let's go. It's back to three. And okay, like, we're really struggling for stops. 
He's not playing fast. We're just really still struggling to get any stops. Come on, come on, Al Horford. Good job. All right. Um, he's up the line anyway. I think Horford's got a decent enough free throw rating. Yep, I'll take it. All right, like, again, we are still seriously struggling to get a stop. Mellow at the four. A little bit undersized as well. He's got all shooters except for one. And Duncan is knocked down, so for some reason Duncan is a knockdown shooter. So he's 100%. I'm considering him a shooter. Defense. Chuck a full court. Get in, get in, get in. Ah, oh, just stop. All right, we're done 3 at the end of the first. Not the best first quarter, but, like, it could be worse. We're really struggling for stops, though. And we're not there in time. Ah, oh, come on. I saw the pass coming a mile off and just couldn't get there on time. Corner. Oh, Horford. Green line. Let's go. His release is on the long side, but it is cash, though, to be fair. If you can get him wide open, it's cash. Oh, nice layup. I thought he was going to go for the dunk. It's a nice move there. Mello. Basket. Al Horford for three. And Al Horford kind of did the go wide open shot. Come on. Oh, my God. I one for Ewing. Oh, we just can't put a stop to him. And we can't stop him at all. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go zone. That's what I'm just going to guess. Like, you know, he hasn't scored the most points. And you might think, oh, he's only 29 and a half. It's not a lot. But, like, he's playing really slow. Good shot. You got to hit that. At least we got Melo in the corner there. To the three right back at them. And we get a strip straight away from it. Melo. Three. And Melo can't hit it. Bad release. Okay. Chris Paul takes a two. I would have been nice with a three. But a two is borderline useless there. And they are shooting 14 of 18 in the field. Which is awful for me. Like. All right, we're down eight and a half time. Not good at all. Like, we're putting up... Like I was about to say we're putting up these numbers. Like, we're not. We're, we scored 26 points and a half, which is terrible. But, like, we're still struggling to get stops as well. Let's go. Three right back on him with Curry. There we go. I right, need a couple of big plays here. We got to go back in the man. Actually, no, we can't go to man. We got this lineup in. We cannot go to man with this lineup. We have Blake as our only rim protector. It's absolutely locking me down as well. All right, if I lose this game, I can accept it. Right now, or right now anyway, the better player is winning the game. As you can see by the shooting percentage, he's shooting 25% better than me from the field. I'm lucky to only be down nine. Great passing. Everything I'm doing, he's countering. He's passing through my double team. He's passing, he's patient to beat my zone. He's killing me in man. Like, fair play to him. Sometimes you gotta just take your hat off to your opponent. You're throwing out different things and everything you throw at them, he's responding very well to. Pick and roll, let's attack. The basket, and great block for three, CP3. Chris Paul can't hit the go wide open shot. Again, we've missed enough of them that I think that this game will be a ball game if we just hit our good wide open shots with players with 95 plus threes. That's just been the biggest problem. And Melo decides not to even attempt to grab the board. All right, there's no point giving up without a fight. See if I can score in every possession and if I can get as many stuff possible. No, I was meant to get fake and then kick out the mellow. Why did you go into the shooting motion? We obviously got into an animation and the game was meant for it, uh, them to steal the ball. So we went into a shooting animation, which I never clicked from to go into. Uh, but that's just 2K18 logic. I'm looking forward to 2K19, but 2K18 sucks. Good shot, Harden. And we can't hit any good wide open shots. Why can't we hit any good wide open shots? This is awful. It's absolutely awful. Okay, and T-Mac forgets how to be a basketball player and drops it out of bounds. If there's any chance of us coming back, maybe that was a sign. Maybe that was a sign that we still, we still have a chance. And with that, we have just put on Blake Griffin and Paul Millsap. Well, Paul Millsap more than Blake. Blake's decent enough. Three, Westbrook. Good open. And Westbrook... Why? Why can't we hit any good open shots? Like, this is horrendous. Like, I know you're not going to hit all of them, but, like, at least give me one of them 2K. All right, fair play. I'm dribbling at the clock. We lose by 14 in the end. So, in the end, he shot 70% compared to our 55. Like, we actually had a good second half shoot. We actually shot 67% in the second half, which is not bad at all. Just first half, we shot 43, which is terrible. Um, for us, our Steph Curry went 7 of 10. All right, James Harden in 12. 
Now we're at six, Basque we have five. Griffin at five, Westbrook was terrible. Um, Al Horford struggled. Ed Rosen at four, Millsap at two, Hayward at two, CB3 at two. Brown didn't score, and Mike Conley and Kyle Larry didn't play. So anyway, that's the video. That's one of the few games in this series that I think that we were just, I don't think no matter what team we went out with, we would have won that game, where we were just well and truly outplayed. So fair play to my opponent, who was just better than me on the day. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. This is a team of the highest paid players in the NBA for next season, as far as I know anyway. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.